All looks good. Um, Uh, come back to some more Led Zeppelin a little bit later. Uh. All right, we got the what faces in chat. We're good. Oh, they spotted him. No, no, that was the Dark Seer. Never mind. He was pinging that out. Okay, what's up next? Arteezy, eight tangos, stout shield, Bobo going out with a couple tangos himself. Croaky gets his pooled. He's checking his suggested items. Um, and they'll be fine. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, it looks like Fear is gonna be playing Dazzle. So it's Moon off lane. Naga Siren's gonna be no tail. And then we've also got mid MSS Juggernaut. So fear back to like they've got two super defensive supports. It's just all about that Naga this game. <clears throat> and it's worth noting they don't have a ton of answers to it, honestly. You are might get spotted there. They do end up being able to find him for the moment. Dust is then gonna end up revealing him, and now you are in a lot of trouble. Oh no. Say it ain't so. They're gonna be able to bring him down here. First blood going to no-tail on that Naga. And yeah, that hurts. That that hurts. I guess if they wanted to, yeah, it's definitely going to be there. They, they could go aggro lane even. And it looks like that is what they're going to opt to do. So fear is going to go down bottom. Wait, is that really what's happening? Net skilled. Bounty taken. Good job, you are. Is this a roaming no-tail with a fear carry dazzle? What are they doing? Is this literally what this game is? I, they they have Naga Siren support, I guess. All right. Okay. Why not? <laughs> Let's make it happen. Is that really what they're relying upon? They're going to roam in. OG revealing strategies in NEL right now as Ritsu is going to feel the burn. A couple of hits right there from the high DPS. I mean, this is part of the cool thing about Naga Siren early is you have six armor and also a great disable that's going to be able to keep Arteezy hemmed down. Oh my god, this is going to be the best game of all time. They're already messing with him, doing a lot of damage and causing trouble. Down here in the bottom lane, Fear, not at all afraid of anything, but should be in a little bit of trouble. The double Iron Shell, you are messing with him and needs to get healed back up. Oh my god, he's taking so much damage vacuum back at this point. Skilled at level 2 on the Darkseer. NEL is back, boys. We get the question mark. <laughs> Has anybody ever told me that I sound like Blitz? I haven't heard that one. I've heard that I sound like Merlini a couple times. But I don't know if that's true or not. You can get the one hand in the chats. Alright. So this is legitimately going to be a farming dazzle. Which I find hilarious. Meanwhile, a battle behind enemy lines trying to take down Arteezy. No tail just running out of here. They don't have the mana and he is going to end up going down. Crit. A double kill now as Anti-Mage ends up falling. Ritsu, oh, trying to find this damage. Yuar is here and actually doesn't have boots. I don't think he can keep up to him. They get the slow with the tether, not even realizing it's happening completely. Crit gets himself broken. They pop the dust. Yuar overextending again, maybe in trouble. They are going to get the ensnare. They're going to get the surround, and that's going to be a kill. Crit staying alive 2-0-2 right now on the IO. Like it ain't no thing. 
in the least bit. He ends up denying himself to the neutral creep. Meanwhile, guess what? EG Fear playing the carry dazzle. Oh my god. It is just an all OG offlane. They're like, we want to go hang out together. We've got crit, we got moon, we got no tail. We're hanging out. You guys do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> Ugh, this is great. I am loving this. Well, um, we're going to be seeing the the Dazzle semi-carry offlane position. It's kind of an interesting dynamic against the Darkseer. Like, you can push out that creep wave super quickly. And his damage is not insignificant. I'm curious to see how they go with this. Iron Shell is going to be on top of him and needs to be slightly concerned again. Doubled up. Disruptor up on the high land. He's not going to end up getting ran down there, so it should be fine. And yeah, they're just trying to cut the creep wave here and pull it out. But right now, this combo is working. I'm just worried about what they do late game against an anti-mage. I'm not exactly sure. I am loving this combo, though. This is great Dota. The other thing that's awesome about this, this is a ridiculously good spell against the RTZ uh, anti-mage. You've got the, you know, not being able to blink away from it. That's the best part about it. So five seconds, no blink. They can think about going for me here if they want, but instead they're just going to cut the creep wave for the moment. Splash, pretty great for that. I didn't get that CS, but that's fine. I didn't get that CS either. Don't worry. You don't need it. It's fine. Yeah, they're going to head off on their merry little way. Um, and I think Fear is just trying to do whatever he can as far as getting some CS here, but it's not the easiest in the world. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Again, I'm a little bit curious. Oh my god, the damage. That's so much damage. I want to see what he goes. Does he go, like, urn into eventually, like, desolator? Is that even a possibility? All right, No-Tail going to try and chase down Ritsu. Naga, 412 movement speed. That is absurd. Oh my god, Crit is going to find the kill. Crit on a killing spree. Oh no. Ritsu didn't hide well enough. You are? Bringing fear low, but not quite killing him. And he should still be fine with that. Jeez. He's got so much gold. Alright, he went for the arcane boots. That seems pretty good. Alright, well, Kuroki is still here. Ends up being able to get an eye, but they're going to be able to throw that net from afar. Still able to skewer away. So that gank was not going to succeed. But still, putting him on edge. Of course, the thing that you want to see eventually out of this is just more in power so that way you can toss it over to AM. And he gets that natural steroid in terms of damage dealt and farming capacity. Alright, Blightstone now up for the Dazzle as well. God, he is actually pretty scary to go up against. He's got the two points in Poison Touch. It's just going to throw it onto Bulba and does a decent chunk of damage. Illusion. I am loving this draft. The No-Tail draft. They were not expecting it. And again, Crit with No-Tail have just been this sort of like roaming support duo from hell. And you look at the net worth at this point. <laughs> Dazzle up there. The Naga Siren, the lowest net worth in the game, but there's the roar dropped onto Arteezy. A lot of damage coming in. All the balls are hitting them, and they're gonna be able to bring them down. That one point in net, ensuring the kill. And just like that, six to one. This is the scary part. Fear can't really back up away from this. He has to stay with his creeps. Because if he manages to like create any separation, he's just gonna die. Yawar is on top of him at this point. He does have Shallow Grade available if he wants to go for it. A little bit of a heal bomb coming out. Does still have a lot of stick charges, but Arteezy is there. Ends up being able to throw the Shallow Grave on himself. Gonna go for the deny. Can it make it happen? Uh, it's not gonna be there in time. Darkseer finds the kill. So they lose their carry, Mr. Fear. Can I increase the... In Let me know in chat if there's any other issues. That should help at least a little bit there. More. Oh, you are in trouble. 
MSS is there with the spin, and they find the kill. Is that loud enough, or does it need to be a little bit more? Just can't give a tassel of Petey. <laughs> You're just getting in the, uh, getting in the spirit. What's he going for? <laughs> There's a little bit of, a little bit of anger coming out. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. I promise. Uh, a little bit more. It's good. All right, it's fine. Wonderful. Moon getting wrapped around on. Yuar is here. They don't realize, at least for the moment, though, that No Tail is still hanging out. And the Courier is going to drop off the Necrobook level one. We're down. Going to be able to find Bulba in a lot of trouble. No Tail is there. And they do have a vacuum, but no great way to stop this. Oh, God, he didn't have enough mana for RP after the TP. Oh, Kuroki. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was wondering right... Oh, God. Is he really disconnected? Oh, shit. Well, that didn't last that long. Eight minutes in. Um... <laughs> Orange, you have done nothing. Oh, God. You can see the cracks. They're starting to... Uh... They're starting to fall apart a little bit. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop blaming me, shitty fucking drafter. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, he reconnected. We've done it. He's back. He wants to keep playing. Game What a... I, do. <laughs> I was told any else good games. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is wonderful. <laughs> oh. Literally over half of the best team in the world is on Radiant. That's, that's true. I mean, it's all very close when you get up to these high levels. It's hard to say who's the best and who's the worst. All right, well, he got caught there for a moment. Oh, my God! Oh, DD! DD! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, you do still have maybe a jump here onto EG Fear. He's pretty tanky and ends up trying to turn this around. You are! Oh, he didn't get the heal bomb! It was so close. They want to find this kill, but they need to be careful. He's got it again in a second, and there's going to be the vacuum. Bulba almost going down. Might be able to find the kill. There's going to be the poison touch. And one last hit isn't quite going to be able to find the kill there. Literally four heroes rotating in to try and find the kill onto the Dazzle. And Anti-Mage, with a little bit of anger and a little bit of frustration, drops the Mana Void onto his face. Oh, man, that was wonderful. I can't believe that um, they didn't end up being able to get that on kill on a Bulba. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, who would have thunk it? That was so much damage. The DD Juggernaut just destroyed, and really good recognition there as well. You gotta hand it to MSS. In these in houses, he to me has been like the MVP. His invoker play, granted he didn't win, but now also like that that last kill there. Oh jeez. Alright. Do they ping it up? Do they know that this is a thing? Four heroes are here. Kuroki. Okay, they end up dropping the sleep. He's just gonna TP out in front of him, taking damage from the ion shell. He needed to be a little bit careful there. I could have gone terribly awry. But again, fear just build it into a mechanism. He's not going the desolator build. This game is so ridiculous. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know how they end up winning this late, but it's pretty wonderful in the meantime. Maybe they just take all the towers. Like, OG is revealing their strats right now. I don't know if this is a legitimate strat that they're going to be like running all over the place, but it's at least fun to watch. 
No tail. Let's be a little bit careful here. Meanwhile, the tier 2 tower goes down in the mid lane. I guess you can still transition this for No Tail. He's going to be going back for an Iron Talon now. Fear, MSS, showing themselves. Mechanism recipe. That's an RP onto two. The skewer back and now into the static storm. Oh, the relocate out. Good play right there by Chris. Fear, meanwhile, is just going to turn away and going to try and TP out. They do get the glimpse away. And I think with that, he should go down a second mana void. Arteezy claims the kill for himself and isn't quite going to be able to find crit. I think he's... Okay, yeah, he's out. He's going to end up being able to get back and back. Magnus finds the kill there. Guys, NEL, if you haven't watched it, I, I welcome. This is this is what happens. 1,700 gold. <laughs> More cheerless than your team the game, man. Good casual trash talk. Oh... Yeah, it's close. Kind of. Not completely, but... It's good stuff. Let's take a look at the difference in terms of team net worth. It's about 7,500 into the favor of the Radiant with around 4,000 experience. And this game... I mean... It's not often that you see ones like this. I mean, how often do you see the Arteezy, you know, versus Fear... With the carry here, Dazzle. Oh my god, there's fireworks outside. It's good stuff. They are going to be able to push incredibly quickly. It's kind of all on MSS to get them through this stuff, though. Please trash talk with them. No, I'm not going to do that. Alright, they've always got the counter initiation with sleep here if they need to use it. It looks like for now at least they're feeling comfortable. Keeping them back. But they're just breaking high ground, and there's no way to fight into this really. They do have the skewer back, but MSS realizing what's gonna happen. They have a blink up in a second for Magnus. This could be a big play if they're incapable of finding it. Ritsu getting pushed forward. He does have static storm available. They realize what could be coming their way. And again, they're just keeping No-Tail here as well as Crit to get somebody relocated out. Tier 3 tower already gone. It looks like they're going to be moving on to the barracks. MSS, if he's not careful, is going to end up being skewered back. But it looks like, at least for now, they're going to be able to head out of there. Smoke, they want to take this. They're going to also surge them forward, but the Illusion's breaking it. They're not going to be able to actually blink forward because of those Illusions moving in with the splash damage. So good recognition... This should still be working. Kuroki jumps in, not able to find it. Still no RP comes out. And it does feel like now, they just, they don't have an answer. I mean, you've got 5,000 net worth on your anti-mage. What are you really gonna be able to do to stop this? He doesn't even know his battle fear yet. He's going back for the Vlads. Which, obviously, is something that you sort of need to be able to do, but this game is just so difficult for them to deal with. And they're just going to have the melee barracks dead. Again, MSS, to me, has been sort of the, the unsung hero so far for NEL. He's been playing exceptionally well. Manta Style now up on Jug. He has it online. He's ready to get out of here if things start going a little bit awry. Croaky, pump faking his abilities. I guess that since he has in power, Arteezy doesn't have to go for a battle fury this game. Man, give us 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. He's just going to keep on hitting away at high ground now. They've got the healing ward in the back. They don't want to blow RP only on him. Crit's going to be able to give him the overpower if he needs to. They can try and go for something. They end up forcing out the glyph. Uh, all right, Ritz is just dead. And now the roar on the fall. Oh, no, it's going to go awry. They do end up trying to get the skewer back. They have to wait for the blade fairy, but they get the counter initiation from No Tail. Oh, man, and the barracks are going to die. That's an RP used. That was a great counter initiation, and they just don't have a great answer either. Bulba taking a good amount of damage. Not dead as of yet. Still alive. Fight recap shows that with Disruptor dead, like, 
That's a lane of barracks, and I don't think that they're really going to stop. Look at the net worth advantage. 12k with right around 4,000 experience, but more importantly, they can just back out and even if they wanted to, go for Roche. Holy hell. They came, they saw, they conquered. OG oh, knowing what they need to do. <laughs> the Dazzle semi-carry or position three, I guess, is really the best way to look at him. They knew what they wanted to accomplish and they made it happen. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. And honestly, if Nakasar needs to, he could eventually transition back into like a late game Radiance. Oh, MSS is going to end up going Blade Fury onto UR. They end up being able to find him, and Juggernaut just finds the kill. Oh, Bulba, run away. He's going to get glimpsed back onto crit, but he's out of there. MSS still very upset about the situation. Has Omni Slash available in a little while. 30 seconds, but isn't going to be able to find the kill. They're trying to get him net, not going to connect. So he does escape from that one. Bulba out of there. Oh, the Ritsu. What is he doing? Alright, okay. Realizing that he's trying to get in their heads a little bit. Show them what's what. It's uh, not gonna lie, it's been a tough game. Alright, Anti-Mage going back for the Medallion of Courage. Not often seen, but it's a thing, I guess? That's... You gotta love it. <laughs> <laughs> anti age Medallion. Um, Kuroki does have his Blink Dagger up. Like, there are the pieces here for this to work. And, you know, if you end up being a really nice RP with the combo together with the Static Storm, it could end up working for them well. Moon, meantime, ends up just being able to jump in and find the kill. Arteezy! Oh, the relocate! No! Beastmaster double kill. Good game gets called. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if they're actually going to call it at this point. Like, they do have the late game, but... Meanwhile, on the back side, he's been trying to jump in and find a kill. Disruptor not going to be able to do it. Oh, no. Bottom tower it's all falling apart. MSS doing what he needs to do. 15k net worth lead, 7,500 experience lead. And it does not really feel as you get a jump for an Omni Slash on the Bulba, trying to stay alive, pops the Mantis style. MSS does it again. 404. Oh, my God. Carrying your hands again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, buyback by the Darkseer. He can't say that they're not playing it out at least. There's the solo RP. A lot of hate thrown his way, but this guy's not going down. On the back lines, Arteezy trying to kill off here again, if at all possible, but he's just going to be able to live through it. Oh, give him the kill. They do have another ability to find this one if they want, but not going to do it at least for now. They roar up Bulba, a couple more right clicks, the crit as well to finish him off. And you just look at this, like, why not? Arteezy jumps in, not going to be able to survive that one. The fear with the hand of Midas. Takes your creeps. The skewer hits nothing. And now Kuroki in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh no, it's all gone wrong. Ritsu controlled and brought down a triple for MSS. GG ends up getting called. The disconnect at the end. Oh man. What a game. What a game of Dota 2. <laughs> oh.